So now we have seen how we can scale our drawing in the model space. Here we will learn to apply proper scale in the layout or paper space. And for that also we are using the same two drawings, the same set of drawings, one imperial and one metric. This one is in 3D and the other one is in 2D. Now this is the metric drawing and this drawing has been made in mm or millimeters and the approximate length of this object is 30 mm. It's not exactly 30 but it's close to 30 mm. Now to check the unit you can simply type un, press enter and there we have it. We have the millimeter here mentioned. Now to plot this drawing from the layout you need to obviously go to the layout tab and here is the layout tab. Now once you go to the layout you'll see this viewport and this blank sheet of paper. Right now we are not aware of the size of paper and that's the first step in creating your output from the layouts. You need to know the paper size. And for that I'll first erase this viewport. We don't need it now and we'll change the paper size. So go to layout 1, right click and select page setup manager. Now here we have the generic layout one. Let's create a new layout. So click on new and give it a name. So for this case, I'll name it as ISO A4 because we are going to use this A4 sheet of paper for plotting this drawing. Now click on OK and let's change these parameters. So I'll select DWG to PDF. That's the plotter. The paper size should be ISO A4 and in this case, I'll select ISO A4, this landscape view, 297 by 210 mm. Alright, also here in the plot scale section, make sure scale of 1 is to 1 is selected and mm is selected here because we are obviously making a drawing in mm and we want the output in mm. So whatever the original unit of your drawing is, you should ensure that the same unit is maintained here. Now with these changes, click on OK. And now set this one as the current layout. So click on set current. And now the paper size has been changed to ISO A4. Let's close it. And now we can bring our drawing here in the layout. So let's go to layout. Go to base and from model space. Now this will bring your drawing here, the primary front view. And now press enter the top view the view on your left and one isometric view and press enter to finish this drawing. So we have these views, different views in our drawing. But once again, in this case also, even when we have the proper size of paper, we don't know the scale of these drawings. But you can easily check that by clicking on this primary view. So when you click on this primary view and when you click on this small grip which is down pointing you can see the scale here so it is currently set to 2 is to 1 so obviously with 2 is to 1 scale we are seeing the magnified version of our original drawing so we want it in 1 is to 1 let's change it to 1 is to 1 and that's the original scale so now the length is 30 units here and the width is 20 units so the original scale is maintained in this drawing of 1 is to 1. Now if you want to change the scale of this drawing you can obviously do that by selecting this object and by selecting the proper scale from this list. So once again let's go to 2 is to 1 and change it. And as you can see that changing the scale of this primary object is changing the scale of all of these objects as well. So in this way you can properly set the scale of your drawing in the layouts or the paper space. Now we'll repeat the process for our 2D drawing which is an imperial unit. So I'll go to this second drawing. Here we have this drawing. Here it is mentioned as 50 feet length and 31 feet as the width. Once again I'll go to layout and in this case I'll select ISO A3 size of paper. Again we don't know the size of paper here in this case and we'll also remove this viewport. So I'll start by adding the paper size. So go to layout, right click, page setup manager, new and let's name it as ISO A3. Ok, DWG to PDF, ISO A3 is already selected. If not, you can change it from this 
drop down and also the plot scale is 1 is to 1 now here is one thing that you need to ensure here we have it in mm so make sure you have this in inches because we have our drawing in imperial units so you need to ensure that inches is selected now here the custom scale is selected so we will also ensure that a scale of 1 is to 1 is selected for now although this is not going to influence our drawing in a great way still we'll make sure 1 is to 1 scale is selected for now now click on ok and close i forgot to apply this on the current layout so i'll once again go to this page setup manager here we have this iso a3 let's click on set current all right and now close it okay so now we'll start adding our viewports in this case we are not importing our drawing instead we'll make viewports so here we have this layout viewport option let's go to rectangular and let's create a rectangular viewport now make sure that this viewport is created within these dotted lines this is the plotter margin and anything which is created beyond these plotter margins will not appear in the final output so just ensure that all of your drawings viewports and everything is within this plotter margin if you want to plot it now here we have it so we once again don't know the scale of this drawing obviously you know the size of this paper you can check this size simply by going to the layout page setup manager modify and there we have it 16.5 inches is the length and the width is 11.69 inches so that's the paper size which we have here so right now we have 16 and a half inches length of this paper but here you can clearly see that the dimension is 50 feet for this drawing so obviously this drawing is scaled down so scale has been reduced in order to fit this drawing in the current viewport now in order to check the scale which is applied here automatically you can click on the viewport and see the scale here on the bottom so here we have the scale 0 0.011 it's close to 1 is to 100 and you can now change the scale from this list also you can change the scale directly from this grip as we did in the previous case so i'll change the scale to 1 is 200 and there we have it now this looks better now if you want to change the size of this viewport you can do that and this will still keep the scale at 1 is 200 it will not change the scale of this drawing even though i have changed the dimensions of this viewport because we have not changed anything within this viewport now let's create another viewport for that i'll once again go to this rectangular i'll create another viewport here all right and in this case i'll change the scale but before doing that i'll magnify a part of this drawing here so i'll keep this kitchen in focus and now double click outside all right now we'll change the scale so i'll select it and in this case i'll change the scale from here so let's change it to 1 is to 40. Maybe we want to make it equal to 1 is to 50. Now that's better. So that's the scale which we have applied here. Now in this case, we have different scales for these two viewports. We have this drawing in a scale of 1 is to 100. And here we have a scale of 1 is to 50. So these are obviously two different scales on a single sheet of paper. And you can create as many viewports as you want and you can create and assign different scales to all of those viewports you can also add a field representing the scales of these viewports and fields are the dynamic information that changes automatically when their related properties are changed to understand it better i'll add a field here so let's type field and press enter in this case we want to add the scale of viewport so let's go to drop down and select objects click on object now click on this box select the viewport now we want the scale so let's select custom scale and this is the scale format which we want you can see the format here if you change it you'll see different formats we want this one click on ok and there we have it so we have the scale right now the size is quite big because it's taking the size from the text style so you can change the size of text style so i'll go to home tab go to text style and from here i'll change the size of text now we know that the size of this sheet of paper is close to 16.5 inches here in the length so with respect to that i'll try to keep it at 0.5 inches 
so that will be the height of text and it will look good on this size of paper so I'll click on apply and close now I'll remove this and I'll create this field again so let's type field repeat the process object select this object and here we have custom scale the scale okay there we have it so we have the scale here 1 is 200 now this is a dynamic information or a field and if you change the scale of this viewport this associated field will change automatically you can add another field for the second viewport select it with the same settings okay and here we have it okay so we need to change this setting and we need to select the custom scale which we forgot in the previous case so there we have it and okay and there we have it so this is the scale that we have here now in some cases you may find that your required scale is not in the list of this viewport now i've selected this viewport and let's say that i want to change the scale of this viewport to 1 is to 60. now let's look at this list and you'll see that we don't have 1 is to 60 in this list now in this case you can add your own custom scale as well and for that go to custom and click on add now give it a name so i'll name it as 1 is to 60. now in this case one paper unit should be equal to 60 drawing unit okay now the new scale is added click on okay again and now select it go to this list and now you'll see your own custom scale here so 1 is to 60 is now added and you can obviously change to that scale so in this way if you don't find your own scale within this scale list you can add it as well according to your requirement so i hope you are now familiar with the scales of autocad objects and now you can set proper scales in model space as well as in the paper space or the layouts if you have any questions let me know in the comment and don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed so thanks again for watching